Hi, I'm Reggie Flanagan, Vice President of Sunny's Car Wash Controls. Uh, here today we're doing our first episode of Tech Talk. This is where technology and the car wash industry meet and we'd just like to discuss the Smart Motor Control Center. I have our first guest here today. This is Chris Barone. Been working with Chris Barone for about six years and Chris, you've been working with Sunny's roughly? I've been working with Sunny for about 18 years on uh, various controls and projects. Many successes, anything from the InBay system that was uh, developed maybe 10 or 12 years ago and launched to concierge systems to other things that uh, Sonny's needs that uh, Schneider can supply equipment for. Fantastic, that's a long-term partnership there. It sure is. Uh, we like partnering with people that uh, see the benefits of our new technologies and, and utilize them to their fullest. Great. I also have uh, Carlos Canetto here. Uh, he's our lead uh, controls engineer. Ferran Kahitaru, beautiful last name. Close. Uh, Close he is our R&D engineer. Uh, Carlos, you wanna tell us a little bit about what you do with Sonny's? So I'm a controls engineer. We pretty much, you know, do all the Sony Stone controller side of it and the Smart NCC stuff. So we also do all the uh, concierge, like, you know, the truck pack concierge, uh, conveyor concierge, all the gate controllers, all the standalone uh, system to integrate with another uh, third party controllers. And that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, Ferran, I've been with uh, Sunny's for about 10 years. Um, the title is uh, Lead R&D Engineer, but what that is is uh, a new product development, new pro existing product improvement. Um, we'll get it to a point where we can hand it off to the rest of the team and they'll uh, do a polished product. Usually takes, I'll take Reggie's crazy ideas and turn it into something that's uh, sellable. So, Carlos, you were the lead on this project. You want to tell us a little bit about it? You know, what inspired you to jump in it with me and uh, get it going. So it's, you know, we were reviewing the industry. There was no, as far as we know, there was no, you know, interface with VFDs and starters on a smarter way. Everything was through relays, right contacts, and there was no information or feedback from those devices. So we get approached with Chris Baran. He presented the new TC Island technology. We love it, we better test it. So that's being said is that, you know, those starters, they are smart. So you can, it's in like an overload electrical protection. So, and a starter built in, so you can get all the information out of those guys, like motor uh, core and motor voltage, energy consumption, power. That's, that's what makes it smart. You know, it's an IoT technology. The architecture is ready for the next level, which is predictive maintenance and analytics, yes. Awesome. Yep. All right, so we, we worked on this roughly uh, three and a half years. You know, Chris, what made you decide that, uh, you know, Schneider was, wanted to partner with Sonny's to really beta test the Tesis Island and get everything going? You know, why were we a candidate there? Well, first of all, uh, again, working with Sonny's for over 18 years, I knew that uh, the management, even before you and including you, wanted to uh, look into the latest technologies. So when I saw this, uh, beta tested at Schneider about five years ago. I saw it in, in the basement up in North Carolina. I knew that you guys would, would really embrace this new technology for a more productive system, for more analytics, for more predictive maintenance, for everything you guys had mentioned. And that's, the, that's what everybody wants is information. You get it through your house, you get it through your car. Why not have it in your car wash system? Exactly. And that, that's one thing we always say is that we want to mimic the digital habits that everyone's already used to. You know, pick up your phone, access anything, look at what's going on, look at your reporting. So, I appreciate you picking us to, you know, jump on board with this. All right, so we created this uh, really to improve operations, uh, open up insight. So, Brother Ferran, tell me a little bit. What was your role in all of this, and, and why did we, you know, open it up beyond, we're talking internals here, but what did we do on the technical side to be able to drive all this to the customer? Uh, so... Whether it's a smart MCC or, or any product that we work on, uh, the, we're, we're all about the uh, customer experience, right? How to make it easier for the user and giving the user uh, full control. So not every car wash is, is identical. Each car wash has different, different configuration, different, different setups. So uh, what we provide on a larger scale is we give them all the tools that they need. And it's the user experience that we go for is to make it easy, whether you're a pro in the industry or just starting out. 
Uh, that's something that we, we look at, not just in the Smart MCC, but any product we design, anything that we bring uh, to, the, um, to the market, uh, we're thinking about the user experience. How do we make it secure? Making sure it's up to date with the latest software, the latest updates, and giving the user the, uh, the best experience across any device. You mentioned, uh, Reggie mentioned um, tablet, phone, PC, wherever you're, you're making your changes at, wherever you're, you're able to configure the system, um, that user experience is gonna be the same, whether on your phone, your tablet, your computer. So, uh, you know, we were talking about the second component of the Tesis Island. Can you jump into a little more details on you know, what makes the Tesis Island so special oh, you know, for our industry? Well, the Tesis Island is, is the, uh, a bus coupler that you connect all your starters, or at least, you know, like maximum of 15 starters, a length of 42 inches, so either or. And you connect to only, the PLC connects to that uh, bus coupler and you get information of all your starters. So is uh, the bus coupler is a pro amyloid controller. It's an industrial piece, so it's bulletproof, pretty much. So on that one, what you can do is you can get different alerts on, on different conditions, like if the motor, if the starter sends a jam alert, like, so it will stop and will alert you, hey, I sense a jam condition instead of tripping, and then you figure out what tripped. It's infinite, you know, the, the, the stuff that, you know, we just started, you know, we were just displaying voltage, displaying the current, displaying the frequency. So we're getting the information. If we get a fault, we send it to you through a text. Cool, so uh, you guys know I like to get granular. And one of the things with uh, the motor control center is you can get granular. You can look at, keep it simple here. Let's turn on motors, let's track motors. But you can get to the point where irrigation, uh, setting timers, things like that, where you can have uh, your lights turn on, you can have your vacuums turn on at 6 a.m., turn off at 8 p.m. So these little little tiny touches are the things that I love. And, and talking about power consumption with Chris, I mean, uh, instead of running it you know, however many hours at night, your lights, all of that, you're able to control this with these little timers. So that's, that's something granular that I really like. The Smart NCC with the device types on, on, on VFDs and the starters and the inputs that we created, it's soft configurable, it's soft functional that you can pretty much do anything with it. I remember in the old days when this didn't exist, there was workarounds for everything. Yeah. Controller didn't have any built-in software to do specific things because not every site is, is the same. Not everyone's cookie cutter. Everything has a different, a different yeah. configuration, different ideas. And that's one of the best things about actually talking to customers and seeing how they're going to use it in the field. It's, it's, it's I guess, sky's the limit, right? Because you can, you can configure it any way you need to. And with this one, you get away all the complicated circuits that standard MCC does, you know, like right contacts, I turn on this guy, timers, you know, relays, all that is done on the Smart NCC PLC with the device types. That's, that's the key on that, on that Smart NCC, you know, all the functionality that is built in. Uh, Chris, uh, has uh, Schneider overall gotten the performance that they were looking for out of the Tesis Island? Uh, yeah, without, without a doubt we have. We've um, introduced this not only into the, the car wash market, but it's it's been uh, well accepted in any place that uses lots of motors in a confined or expanded system. So we use this in, um, in people like UPS, Amazon, any type of uh, high-end distribution systems. This is, warehousing distribution is, is big, as you know, in the past couple years because of the issues we've been facing. So this has been well received in, in those areas. And, and what it basically does for the owner, for the operator, for the end user, whoever it may be, what they get is, is uptime and productivity. That's where all the money is. One line goes down, your car washes down for a day, the amount of money that owner has lost is well above what it costs in the upcharge of this over a standard digital MCC. So basically with predictive maintenance, it gives you more uptime, less downtime, and that's what the owners want, which is productivity, which equates to dollars in their pocket. All right, Ferran, so you explained to us Really, what excites you about the Motor Control Center? Uh, I'm the owner, I'm the operator. Uh, what do you think would excite me uh, about the Motor Control Center besides just getting text alerts while I'm out on my boat fishing? <laughs> I, think the, uh, I think the system is uh, robust, but it's, it's user-friendly. Uh, it'll provide you with data that you need to, to make decisions on your site. Time is money, and, and if you're spending a lot of money um, troubleshooting and trying to resolve issues that, that you're, 
your MCC can provide for you and, and be proactive and give you that information, uh, you can use that time to, to engage with your customers and, and to be, uh, focus more on the business side versus having to focus on supporting equipment that, that's, that's so complex. So I think that's a, that's a key thing. So the other benefits that you can get out of the Smart MCC is that you can see energy consumption, like kilowatt hours. And you can pretty much right now, you know, monitor that and then you can adjust based on that. If you know that a motor, you know, has consumed a certain amount of kilowatts from one day to the other one and you haven't washed so many cars, you know that it's something wrong on that motor, you know, it's drawing more current, drawing more, you know, something wrong with it. So you can pretty much, you know, predict what is coming for now. But, but Carlos, so with all this information, and uh, energy monitoring, energy consumption monitoring, kilowatt hours consumption monitoring, uh, you could prove an ROI to the owner, or the end user, that in certain points or certain times, in let's say uh, low usage times, if you reduce the power consumption on conveyor speed, motor speed, things like that, we know that when you reduce VFD speed from 60 hertz to 45 hertz, the power savings is over 60%. That's a proven fact, so you could prove to the owners that with this smart MCC and by reducing speeds and conveyor speeds during low peak hours of, of uh, actual users or, or car wash users, you could prove an ROI to the customer, to the end user. And you? They have the visibility now, so they can pretty much monitor it. Before it was like, yeah, the motor is running, but you don't know how much is consuming unless you get your climb meter and see how much it is. Right now we give you kilowatt hours, we give you monitoring of the current, we're showing you what the motor is consuming. So that's, that's valuable. So with now. that information, you could modify or change the speeds and current consumption in the unit to match the, can, car yeah. the incoming car wash yeah, needs. You can do that by the tip of your finger. You, you want to run your conveyor slower, you put 40 hertz, and they will run 40 hertz. So it's, 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 you, it's something that is a uh, available for the customer to use uh, if he knows what he's doing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So in addition to um, in addition to all the all the great features that we offer in back office on the phone uh, through the through the MCC, um, you also get a great development team. We have the ability to remotely connect over secure connection, um, download that software, give them the software update that they that they needed or if they requested. So we have that um, development cycle that we're a part of every every I'd say what four to six weeks. Got it. Well, Fran, when you push out these updates, are these uh, software, for lack of term, bug fixes, or are they new product revisions that they automatically get with their monthly or yearly service contract? So it's a combination of both. We have features that we work on internally that we um, collectively agree on as a group and then developers commit to to have for a certain release. So that's a part of the release updates um, when the customer makes a commitment with, uh, with Sunny's and for the MCC. They do have a monthly that, that includes software support updates. So you're never paying for new software once you've uh, once you've um, s signed on with with uh, for the Smart MCC and and for that for that support. Tesis Island contactor based technology is the only one in the market. Our major competitors, I'm not going to name them, need four or five sometimes six components to come up with the exact same technology with the exact same information. We're the only one in the market right now. Will someone catch up to us? Five years later, they may, but right now, they're not. You've got a four-year, meaning Sonny's, has a four-year jump on everybody else in the market. We've kept this information technology internal at Schneider that you're using our product. No one has discussed this for four years inside Schneider. So you have a four-year jump on anybody in the car wash market. Not in every market, the car wash market. Again, there's people that were beta testing this in the conveyor market, people can, can uh, beta testing this in other markets, but in the car wash market, you were, so you were standalone and no one else was given this technology or the ability to test it. Beautiful, we'll take that, because uh, we hear it all the time that we're four years, five years advanced than others, and they go, but they're trying to catch you, and I go, when they catch us, we're gonna be five more years advanced than them, so bring it on. As long as you don't stop, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think we have the ability to stop. All right, so the biggest takeaway is really the visibility into data, uh, your ROI, being able to control this from anywhere you need to, and uh, really just having the ease of use of a product that uh, gives you insight into all the things that you never had before. So with that, I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. 
uh, Chris, Carlos, Ferran. It's been great. I look forward to our next Tech Talk, and you guys can visit us online for more information about the Sunny's Motor Control Center.